we've talked about foundations and briefly we're just going to talk about positions so positional stability is sort of stage two if you like of of an accurate shot and uh positional stability is something that a lot of people do seem to struggle with um which isn't surprising considering there's not much in the way of formal tuition out there so uh bangs bucks and bullseyes one of the things that we talk about in our positional stability is getting positions that are right for you and your physiology so if you're carrying uh say politely a little bit of weight you may struggle with sitting because your tummy might be in the way um, if you don't have too much strength in your arms you may need to use supported positions um, and uh, if you are um, slightly arthritic you may may struggle with kneeling it just depends on you and your physiology and we work out which ones work best for you so i'm going to run through the standard stalking field positions at the moment and um, hopefully give some hints and tips into uh, achieving some stability in the field. The one that everyone hates is standing, um, but most people shoot standing, uh, shooting from sticks or shooting freehand. Many people limit themselves to very short range shots, quite sensibly in many cases, um, with standing. Um, but there's no reason to be frightened of these positions. What we should do is just practice them, practice them in the range, practice them in the field whenever we can. Um, and I'll demonstrate with and without support, as I will with each of these positions, so with and without support of some kind um, and support for standing could be uh, a fence could be a pylon it could be a tree always make use of something that's fixed and solid um, and the key with all of these positions really is um, the lower you can get for any position the better so if you can go prone go prone um, if you can get sitting get sitting um, if there's grass in the way for prone you can go kneeling because you need to get a bit higher shoot under a tree go kneeling um, standing um, because you need to get a shot off quickly or it's the only shot that's, that's available is fine and stable you should be able to um, shoot out to 200 yards quite comfortably with practice with the right kit um, so if we look at the standing position first of all if we look at this without aids in the first instance standing ourselves if we see a roe deer um, 100 yards away and we're in a position to take a shot and we've got a loaded rifle which this isn't at the moment um, the the shot with your rifle coming off of your shoulder off of your off of the sling is um, to come up in the shoulder um, and to not try to stay on the target for too long. You've got your feet at roughly 45 degrees to, to the shot. You've got your elbow up as high as you can get to make a nice pocket in your shoulder. And you're not going to get a perfect sight picture at, uh, at a, a standing without, uh, without sticks. You are going to get some movement on the target, especially if you've got a high magnification scope. So the thing is, get onto the target comfortably. Come down through the target slowly and take your shot with the same foundation that we've talked about earlier on. There's no jerk of the trigger and no rush. Your breathing, you paused, your stock weld is the same, your follow through is the same. You haven't jerked and you haven't lifted your head to see what happens because the best place to see what's happening is through your scope. So that's standing. Again, you're into the shoulder. Weight evenly distributed on your feet, 45 degrees to the target, coming down slowly through the target and release. And that's standing. Practice it, practice it, practice it. There's no reason at all why you can't take 100 yard, 100 yard plus shots with a standing practiced position. With sticks, there's no difference at all and we don't overemphasize or exaggerate anything we're doing. The point about sticks is it's just there to support the weight of the rifle. You don't want to hunch in, you don't want to lean on, you don't want to exaggerate anything at all. It is just there as an aid to the weight. So with sticks, we could be stalking in the field, we've got our sticks with our rifle on our shoulder, animals over there, sticks going up quickly, rifles onto the sticks. If you've got a sling on your rifle, which I usually do, arm through the sling lock into the sticks, I haven't changed anything about my position at all, apart from the fact that for me, I'm holding my stick. Some people prefer to have their hand here. I'm holding my stick still. Everything's the same. I haven't done anything else apart from let the sticks take the weight of the rifle and pause, follow through, exactly the same. Okay, so in this instance, demonstrating that standing shot, standing with sticks, first of all, there's a crafty fox over there. Top fox top fox target he's come along he's going to eat my pheasants nothing like motivation and i've just shot him through the eyes that's standing with sticks 